Hello and welcome to this episode of Power BI Quick Tips with James from Matador Software. Today we're going to look at how we can use a GIF within our tooltip. Now, why would we use a GIF as a tooltip? There's two reasons. Number one, it creates a nice visual element to our reports and helps end users interact with them. Also, it's a great way to free up space within dashboards and almost utilize two visuals or two components within one. So I have a card here that states my delivery locations, but what I can actually do is look back into a prior page, take a screen recording of the top three locations and reflect this within a GIF. It is important to note that when we build out our custom tooltip tab and we select the page size as tooltip, we'll see the standard width and height. We want to take note of these so that we can apply these when we crop our screen recording and convert it to GIF. What I've done, I've just taken a screen recording of myself hovering over the appropriate visual within the overview dashboard and I'm going to then convert that screen recording to GIF. I use this website, Easy GIF, which is a great resource to convert our screen recording or our video to GIF. It's very intuitive. And as I say, just be careful that when you crop anything, you've taken note of the standard tooltip dimensions within Power BI. There we go. When we hover over visualization, we can now see that custom GIF tooltip. It looks nice. It adds to our design, but also if we're thinking about how we can apply this in the future, we can then use these to almost add another dimension to our dashboards and reports without taking up any more space. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you. Just to take it, play it, and break it into fractions, fragments, catch this, keep on pulling me in like a magnet, dark space, scratches on my back, could you really be a savage, start going on, I don't know my bad habits, really fucking hate, but I really hate your absence, who am I?